Oh, Lord Huron. Okay, so upon a second listen, I heard some things. It's not to D that he goes. It's actually partially to G. So most of the song sounds like this. Ah, he doesn't go to the fifth, uh, second string there. He goes to the fourth. So he just hangs out upon the bottom four strings there for E minor. There's the G. And in reality, he actually goes string-wise. Six, five, open D. No, sorry, open G. And that makes for a much easier transition to C. Because then you've got an open string ringing while you move from this shape to this one. And the C I did here correctly. Point of fact, he does slip into a very fancy treatment of E minor. Ooh, he flip flops. When you hear the riff or the phrase start on a higher chord, doo -da -doo -da, he's either playing it up here. That's your A minor bar shape. I think, in all reality, he's playing it here, which is super difficult. It's a D minor shape. Moved up. Uh-oh. What? Look at that spread. Sorry. There it is. I never play this. This is hard for me. That's much easier to play an electric, which is what he's playing on. Huh. Right? Right. Okay.